Mercedes. Of course, that is part of my legal name. I'm not going to give my last name, but if you guys know my last name, you know it, of course. But I just wanted to do questions and, you know, let's answer them, get to know moi. And anything you guys want to know additionally, you know, you can just put in the comments. If you want me to question anything, I can do that. So the first question that I want to ask myself. No, let's, you know, let's, let's not jump right into the questions right now. Let's just go into, let's just talk about me. So I'm just a Mercedes, right? I'm 26 years old. I live in Georgia, Jonesboro, by the way, Atlanta, whatever. Whatever, how you want to put people love to say they're from Atlanta, but they're not really from Atlanta. But yeah, I'm from Georgia. Um, I was actually born in Columbus, Mississippi. Uh, I moved here when I was in ninth grade, so I've been here for about 10 years now. Yes, um, my birthday is in November, November 26th. I am, of course, a Sagittarius, so if you guys know about Sagittarius, we are rare creatures. Like, I love to tell people that because Sagittarius are so rare to come by, and when you do come by a Sagittarius, it's, it's good to hold on to them because when you lose them, life just goes downhill. Just joking. Just joking. So let me go into this first question, you guys. So the first question is, who is your hero? Hmm. I never really thought about my hero like that. Like, I don't want to say superstitious or like people love to say Superman, Batman, all that stuff type of stuff. But I'm going to just say my mom because like my mom. Okay, so my mom, she raised me and my brother like with morals and values and all that type of stuff, right? And it's just with her, it was a little different because I had I had to get mother and father from her, you know, because my dad, he's in Mississippi and my mom, she's here, so and I'm here with my mom. So for her, it was like she was doing both jobs at once and she was taking care of business, not asking for people for anything. And she's very a prideful person. Like she doesn't like to ask for help and when she's going through things, she doesn't like to say, she doesn't like to let her kids know what she has going on. You know, those strong mothers, you know, all of us have those, like all of us have strong mothers. And I would say she, that's the reason why I feel like she's my hero. So yeah, I'm gonna let y'all meet her one day. I keep saying that, but I'm gonna let y'all meet her one day. I'm gonna get her on here. I'm gonna get her on here one day. Okay. So if you could live anywhere, what would it be? Ooh. I always say I wanted to move to Canada, y'all. I know this is, like, so random, but, like, Canada, like, they're so, like, they're so up there. Like, they have good health care. They have good education, all that that type of stuff. And when I say I want to move somewhere, like, if I ever retire or anything, Canada will probably be my first go-to. Like, if I don't have my mom or my dad or anybody else, like, I'll just, just I'll just move to Canada. That's where I really would like to live. Yeah. Like, if you want to think, like, overseas and stuff like that. I don't know, because I don't want to live anywhere tropical because, you know, things happen and I ain't got time for that. So, I'd rather live, you know, somewhere close where nearby family or whatever. I can hop on a plane and just zoom in a couple of hours. So, I'll say Canada. Um, What is your biggest fear? Oh, I actually got multiple ones. Okay, I'm scared of heights. I have been on a roller coaster before, so don't say, have you been? Well, have you been rolling on? I run, run on a roller coaster, have my eyes closed the whole time. Don't do heights. Uh, snakes. I am scared of snakes. I don't know what it is. It's just something about their skin and eyes. Like, if you look in their eyes, like, you just, ugh, Like, look into their soul. Like, I just cannot do snakes. Like, I just can't that I can't do them. Um, what else? That's really the only two things I can think of. Heights and snakes. That's it. Yeah. That's the only thing I think of. Um, let's see. Okay, what's another one? What is your favorite? Favorite family vacation? Ooh. I haven't been on any family vacations. Like, you know, some families get together. They go on family cruises and stuff like that. I haven't been on a family vacation yet. But they should be having some soon. Like, we do family reunions and stuff. But that's like, you know, good guys and stuff. I look forward to those type of things. But, no, I haven't went on a family vacation yet. But I definitely will look forward to going on one soon when all of this is over with. You know? I'll definitely be looking forward to that. Yeah, I might film it too. Just saying. Um... Ooh, what would you change about yourself if you could? Ooh, like I would like to ask somebody else this because I want to know, like, like a lot of people like to say, well, you don't really know yourself like that until, you know, someone tells you and then you think about it and be like, oh, I do do that or whatever. But I don't know. 
I say somebody else might say something different, but I would just say I I wish I could stop second guessing myself on a lot of stuff. I say that because I do second guess myself on a lot of stuff and I don't know why that is. But if I have a thought and the thought goes through whatever and I go through with it and then I like change it like like that. And that was like me going back on it. So it's like, I I think I second guess myself a lot. I think I wish I could change that. Like, I, I don't like the over, I am, I am an overthinker. Like I overthink things a lot. Like, so if someone says I'm not really the person to confront anybody because I'm not a confrontational person. But if it's like me overthinking it, I like put thoughts in my own head and it makes me second guess stuff. And it makes me like push back a little bit. So I would either say, stop overthinking or you know second second guessing myself i say yeah that was, i would say that about myself i don't know what anybody else would say but i would like to ask somebody that because i really want to know what they would say hmm okay yeah i like that okay so what really makes you angry liars um people that aren't up front like if i ask you something if i have to like i feel like, this is the thing with me i feel like if you're speaking you're talking to someone or whatever i feel like even if it's family friends or whatever if you feel like you can't come to me and just say up front what what it is that's going on or what you feeling i, I feel like you i don't know what it is it's just something i just can't I can't trust about you or whatever. Like, I like for people to be upfront with me. Like, if you feel something or say something in regards to me, then I want you just to come out and say it. Like, if you got something to ask me, if you got something you want to tell me, like, just be upfront. Like, I hate people that, like, around the bush or yes mans. Like, I hate, oh, that's another thing. I hate yes mans. I hate people that go with what everybody else is going with. Like, that's just, I can't do it. Like, I've never been raised like that. i just never been that person. Like, people be like, oh, you always go against the grain. And the, people might say that I'm very, like, hard to deal with. But I wouldn't say I'm hard to deal with. I just, I know what I want. And if you're not offering what I want, then I'm on to the next thing. But it's just like, I'm not a yes person. Like, I'm not going to go with whatever you're telling me. Like, I'm the type of person I'm going to do my research. I'm going I'm to look up things on my own. I'm not just going to go with what you're telling me. So, like, ah, shoot, that's going somewhere else. Like, oh, that's going somewhere else. I don't want to take it that the question is what really makes me angry. But, yeah, that's what makes me angry. I don't want to take the story somewhere else because I feel like I was going to go somewhere else with it and I don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, I don't like this. What motivates you to work hard? I won't say I don't like the question, but it's just like, it depends on what we're, 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 what we're talking about like if we're talking about career wise job wise or like or in your own life i would just i don't need to find my job or anything so let's just say my own life okay so what motivate me to work hard in life so let me use me going to school as an example so i feel like me going to school better my chances of my future career or what i actually want to do the businesses i want to open up in the near future very near future things i do have in the works but the thing that motivates me, huh? I didn't think about that. What's the thing that motivates me? Ooh, the thing that motivates me. Okay, like I said before, y'all know my mom's my hero, right? And my mom used to be on my ass about school. Like, she used to be on my ass. And it's like, the things that she used to say, she said, I never want you to be like how, you know, how I am with my job working check. You you don't want to live like that. Like, but my mom, when she was work, like when she was at her, she was making really good money, like $2,000 a check. Like, and that was every week. So like she was, she was making really, really good money, but she always said she doesn't want me to end up like that. She don't want me working all these long hours. You know, you should, she was like, you shouldn't be able to make that in a day. Like she, she really encouraged me to like, want to you know better myself and my my opportunities so i would say like that motivates me the thought of living paycheck to paycheck is not something that i want to do and it's not really the nine to five job that i want in life like that's why what motivates me to move on like to continue on like i told y'all you cannot stay at i don't know how many times y'all gonna hear me say this in every video you cannot stay at the same level you have to push yourself on to better and other opportunities if you don't you're gonna stay stuck and it's like 
people like to say, oh, you got the mindset of those peasy schemes and all that, the pyramid type thing. Like, when I do, I have been on jobs where, like, they try to put you on to other businesses and stuff like that. And it just wasn't for me. Like, I've been in retail almost probably six seven years i was in retail a very long time and it is for me that's why i say when i do my my you know my stuff you know that's definitely what i'm gonna you know i'm gonna take those things that i learned within that and take it into my own consideration but i don't want it to be to where i'm just i don't even know how to put it you guys i don't even know how to put it but I, let's just say I you learn from what you go through. I'm gonna just say, let, yeah, let's just say that you learn from what you go through, and you when you learn those things, you you do better. You try to do better. So I feel like that's what I'm actually gaining from that that little experience or whatever. I feel like I took it somewhere else, but it's okay. It's all right. We all right. We we know we know Drew. When Drew get to talking, we already know what his goals. Just go somewhere else and it takes your mind to a whole other level. Like that's what it's all. But I'm not looking down on people that do like those type of, you know, those type of words that put people on and all that. You know, you get your money how you get your money. If it's legit or not, how you get your money is how you get your money. If that's your hustle, that's your hustle. I commend you all. But um, but I know for myself, I would rather go into, you know, my own businesses and all of that. And, there, and the people that I talk to, probably on one hand, the people I talk to about this, literally on one hand like they know where i'm coming from and they understand you know they they know the path that i'm actually taking it to and where i'm going and i'm actually gonna get there so i de that's what i say if you haven't learned anything from this quarantine any new skills or any assets that you've been looking into things that you wanted to look into and haven't been able to because you haven't really had the time or the energy and you got that time and energy now I feel like you should just go on and jump into it. Like, don't hesitate no more. Just, let's just get into it, baby. Let's get this monies, okay? Let's get this monies. Like, I'm with it. So, do I have any more questions? Oh, y'all, I don't got no more questions. Okay, so, let's just do this. If y'all have any questions for me, feel like something that I asked and you want more elaboration on, Put it down in the comments down below. I'm going to respond to that comment. Y'all already know. I respond to every comment, good or bad. I'm responding to it. I don't care. Like, y'all know how I do. So, definitely comment those down below. And I'll definitely get back to responding to those for you guys. Make sure you like the video. And also, subscribe for future content. I am definitely being trying to be consistent for you guys. I have been doing pretty good. I have been, you know, a day or two late. But... You know, I'm definitely sticking to it within that same week. So I do wish you guys the best and continue pushing forward, continue moving on. And let's get it done, baby. I love you guys. Have a great one.